seen that Dr. Agat Ruch was? My Lord, I could see that uh, Dr. Agat was tired. And there was a combat in the uh, local of the corner where I found a flowers. And there was a... You said it was a combat. A combat, okay. There was a combat in the uh, office in which he was being a uh, question in the even at the complete to go out I'm seeing a move was in a flow of a of the company yourself but a creator of father I did ask him as to whether he would like to sleep on the camp bed and then he uh, accepted that Kan u onthou on ongeveer hoe laat was dit dat die verklaring klaar geneem was? Can you say as to what time was it when this uh, statement was finished? Uh, I will ek, ek, uh, wil my voordoen, ek kan nie, ek kan rechtig nie mooi onthou nie. My maar, Lord, I can uh, not uh, I uh, remember uh, precisely. The uh, only my associated was in the omgeving of ongeveer 11 plus 11, 11, uh, yeah, 11 plus 11 minutes. So, in the omgeving of 11 in the end. Uh, my Lord, I can say it was in the region of uh, 11 p.m. What did he do? Terwijl Dr. Agat op die kampet geslaap het. What did you do uh, whilst uh, Dr. Agat was sleeping on the camp bed? Die uh, eerdere, uh, ek het in die kantoor by die tafel blijste. My Lord, I kept on sitting uh, at the table in the office. En ek het myself bezig gehou met uh, onder andere sy verklaring wat hy afgeleid I kept was. myself busy with the uh, statement that he had written down ja, dis goed ek hier uh, hier le en ook uh, daar was alle dokumente tot my beskikking, so ek het alles deurgegaan en maar so bykie uh, vergelijkings getrek van what I have and what of my discussion was. And my Lord, I had some other uh, information uh, which uh, uh, I then compared with what he had written down. Is this document, another document, what he felt like? like it. Oh, he said there was no other document when he was Yeah. Uh, well, there were also other documents with which I was busy. Yeah, this is a good record. I can not know what uh, the detail of the document is. Uh, that is correct, my lord, but I cannot say uh, precisely as to what the details of the documents were. He says he can't remember. Kaiser can't say he can't remember. He says he can't remember what okay. this is. Meneer, he said, I can not on hold. Yeah, I can't on hold. Yes, my lord, I did say uh, I cannot remember. But he took a like Nant Whitehead in Winstrack. Did he start in Vier by Yellow Hongkeslein? Did Lieutenant Whitehead and Winstrack, did they join you? Yeah, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Uh, laat nog het uh, leutnant Whitehead in de uh, leutnant Wunstrecht uh, teruggekeer, ek neem aan van hulle functies. Uh, yes, my lord, uh, late uh, that night, I think, uh, uh, leutnant uh, Whitehead and Wunstrecht uh, did come back from their functions. 
What did he do further to do tracking to Dr. Egan? What did you do further in connection with Dr. Agat? Hier heb het een baie duidelijk aan Leutnant Whitehead die die onderzoek beamte was. My Lord, I did precisely Goed, hier heb ik het aan hem gesê dat die feit het hy gesê het I told Lieutenant Whitehead that the facts as he has told me that he himself never can forgive. That he said he will not forgive himself. Because the fact that he is my best friend, Tron Ferrier, due to the fact that he says he betrayed his. Friend, Theron. In Israel, I have to work on him. Gemeld. I also mentioned to him, my lord, that I have it seen that the fact that he did it genoemd. That I saw that the facts that he had mentioned. Yeah. Die edele kan, het kan baie, het kan baie moendlik een risiko wees. That it can easily be a risk vir een selfmoordpoging dier Dr. Agnes. For an attempt to take, an attempt by him, Dr. Agnes, to take his own life. Ja, wie is die feit van die ernst wat hy dit, die hele situasie alvaard en beskouw? According to the situation that he saw and also I accepted. So, if this is the thing that the herald in Anwar is a gift, why would he attempt to commit suicide? Hoe kom so hy selfmoord toch? Edele, as a mens vir jou sê, My Lord, if a person says to you, en ek, dit was my vertolking, dat, it was my interpretation that, ek het het, ja, ek het het so vertolk dat, as a persoon vir my dit sê, I interpreted that, I interpreted it that if one uh, a person uh, can say that to you, the scope that as innocent can it work on, as I need that by himself can obtain me, and I saw that if he cannot uh, explain it uh, to himself, then uh, in accurate service en ek het het so in Whitehead oorgedra. Ek beskou dit as een risiko en ek beskou Neil Eckert as een risiko. I told Lieutenant Whitehead that I took it to be a risk by Dr. Neil Eckert. Ja, en ja, en dat het een self moet pleeg en dat hy dit ter dee in gedachte moes hou as een moendelike selfmoord van die leide. Jy mas dit die doen my. Ja, kan ek, my lof, kan jy van my just clarify. Ja, dit is verstaan ek die, dat die opmerking wat Dr. Eggert aan jy gemaakt het, dat hy nie weet hoe hy homself kan vergewe of woorde tot daar die effect nie, dat jy gedink het, dit is moendelik aanbeiding dat hy een risiko is vir selfmoord. Meneer, hy sê dat, hy sê as hy told, 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 hy
als, als, als er beter gesteld wordt, dan krijg je dat hier eigenlijk niet mag. And that it was a, a possibility that uh, uh, Dr. Neil Aget could uh, <coughs> could uh, do uh, um, commit suicide. Would would commit suicide. Dat hij weet niet hoe hij zichzelf kan vergeven, niet hoe het tot al die effect. Dat het dat hij dit beschouwt, beschouwt als een moeilijke aanduiding dat hij van zichzelf moet vergeven. Uh, meneer, uh, meneer Dietlers, did you think uh, what uh, Dr. Uh, Neil Aget uh, had said to you that it could possibly lead to him committing suicide? Ja, dus correct hier in afvallen. Dat is correct. Hoe echt dit gezien? Yes, it is correct, my lord. That is how I saw it. Weet u hoe Dr. Agat terug is naar die cellen toe? Do you know how uh, Dr. Agat uh, went back to the cells? Uh, ja, hier nog wel. Yes, my lord. Uh, ik denk Leutnant Whitey en Leutnant Roosterig. I think uh, Lieutenant uh, Whitey en Lieutenant Woensterig. Uh, ik nou dat uh, Neil Agat wakker gemaakt was. Uh, after Neil Agat had been uh, woken up. Het uh, alle om naar die cellen vergezeld. They accompanied him to the cells. En wat het u met die verklaring en die notas gemaakt? What did you do with the statement and your notes? Uh, die eerle met de aankomst tussen die twee leutenanten. My lord, uh, when they came, the two lieutenants. Ik heb het niet onderzoek beantwoord bij die verklaring wat Neil Evert geschreven heeft. Ja. Uh, yeah. uh, in die notas wat ik bijgehouden heb, heb ik aan uh, leutenant wat ik nog ander. The statement as well as the notes I made. Uh, I then gave to Lieutenant Whitehead. And is he to Iceland? You then went home. That's good at the end. That is correct, my lord. Op op maandag die eerste februari. Het i via Dr. Eggert gezien. Uh, on Monday, the 1st of February, did you see uh, Dr. Neil Agat? Yeah, yeah, no? Yes, my lord. Uh, my contour is work of it in the floor. My office uh, is also on the 10th floor. Uh, we sell a floor, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, on the same floor as to where a uh, latent uh, white 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 head office is in it it in my pursuit uh, on the second tour to the phone he requested me to come to his office Yeah. And what happened there? Uh, Neil Agat had said, My Lord, uh, Neil Agat said there, and uh, Lieutenant White was busy to tell us what to do for the sending of our Veiligheidshoofdkantoor. 
And Lieutenant Whitehead was busy with a telex that he would send to our... What is it? Uh, uh, or to the... <coughs> to the headquarters of the security branch. Yeah. Uh, I was My lord, I was there for a, a short time and me and uh, Neil Aget did not uh, <coughs> discuss uh, the area in I will eat in my notice of clear what I am the bearer of the tenets bearer of steel. And then he wanted to clarify something uh, on my report that he wanted to send over to our headquarters. This could have been. Let me make it clear that this is like now Whitehead was eat of your notice of clear. Is that? Uh, Lieutenant Whitehead, who wanted to uh, confirm something on your statement? Uh, yeah, correct, because of my notice of that claim that uh, Yes, my lord, it was on my uh, notes that I had. Behalve for dit wat u nou getuig het, Heeft u enig iets anders te met Dr. Neil Eggert te doen gehad? Besides what you have already testified about uh, up till now, uh, is there anything further that you did uh, with uh, Mr. Eggert? Nee, u heeft nu. Ik heb maar net later. Uh, aangezien we onze bicelle vloeren, het ik nu maar verneem dat uh, Neil eigenlijk om je nacht uh, zelf opgehangen en ik kan net daarmee bijvoegen. Ik heb hier zo lang. Ja, dat is ons net die zijn net zo. Ik kan niet meer als het niet te hard Goed. Aangezien ons op die cellen vloer, uh, die tiende vloer werd. Uh, sinds uh, we all worked there uh, on the same floor, the tenth floor. Uh, het ek, ek, en ek weet nie by wie nie, maar het was uh, algemeen uh, onder die mense daar bespreek dat Neil Eggert homself in sy cellen opgehang het. I then had, uh, even though I do not know from whom, I then uh, got to hear that uh, Neil Aget hanged himself in his cell. And I can make it by proof of the thing of the relevant here. I will then uh, add, I don't know whether it is relevant what I uh, want to add. Mar Wat aan my vertel is, en ek weet nie dier wie nie. And what was told to me, uh, I do not know by who. <coughs> uh, was aan my gesê dat gedierende die kersttijd. Uh, I was told that uh, during the uh, Christmas time. Uh, het familie of vriende of iemand, het vir hom een tafeldoek gebring wat hy kon gebruik om op te eet. And that uh, someone from his family had brought a <coughs> tablecloth, a tablecloth uh, which he could use when he ate. Ja, en ek het dan ook verstaan, ek het dan ook verstaan, uh, jy weet dat dit die selle tafel die was waarmee hy homself opgehang. And my lord, I got to uh, know that uh, the very <coughs> the same, same tablecloth uh, table was the one he used to hang himself with. Yes. Did he wait? 
materiaal gesien, die tafel dus waarna jy verwijs, jy dit ooit gesien? Nee, nie heel laat. No, my lord. This is just translated questions. Yeah. Did you see the, that material itself? The tablecloth. The table itself, and the answer is uh, nee, heel laat. No, my lord. Ja, dit is, jy het ook inderdaad getuig in die eerste gerechtelijke doodsonderzoek wat in 1982 gehou was, ten aanzien van die dood van Dr. Eggert. Uh, Mr. Titlitz, uh, you did uh, testify in the inquest that was held, wat is het jaar? 1982. Uh, 1982, daar in uh, getuig. Dat is correct, uh, hier, he? That is correct, my lord. Het jy in daar die gerechtelijke doodsonderzoek vermeld wat jy hier van die hoofd vertel het ten opzichte van Leutenant Whitehead in Woensrecht? Uh, did you uh, testify about what you have told this court pertaining to uh, Leutenant Whitehead and Leutenant uh, Woensrecht? Uh, dat dit die daar was die aan that they left in the evening and went to a function. Uh, uh, my lord, uh, Lieutenant Whitehead has for me said. Lieutenant Whitehead told me that it uh, was a opdracht. It was a it was an instruction from Lieutenant Whitehead. Uh, from Lieutenant Whitehead. That at the Gensens would for me at the end would say uh, that I should not at all uh, mention it or say that uh, that the end of the question was not your word was it? that they were not uh, present uh, that uh, evening of the uh, questioning? Um, yeah. That in then was it not very important for me to say. And the other thing that was uh, important that was said to me. Uh, I believe we were the, uh, uh, my lord, I would just like to uh, correct my words, but it's, uh, this thing happened a long time ago. Maar daar is my definitief gesê dat ek geensens moet meld. I was definitely told that I should at no, uh, in no way uh, mention uh, die dat uh, uh, Neil Eggett on my the verdeiliging gegeet that uh, Neil Eggett uh, gave me the explanation that uh, I need yet to himself can forgive me that he would not uh, <coughs> forgive himself and that Eggett pertinent om ons die aandag te brengen dat Eggett discovered as a moeilijk recipe to self not van Eggett. I then told him that I saw that as a clear indication of suicide by Dr. Nate Eggett. Uh, that's not completely what correct that he, that he said. Uh, if I might just clarify that with, with a quick question. Uh, you see, let not of why did he the opdracht gegeven? Dat is twee goed. Je mag niet melden dat er niet in woorden was tijdens je mevrouw van niet. Is dat weg? You have mentioned that uh, Lieutenant Whitehead told you that you should not uh, uh, make mention of their being present. Not being present. Not being present. Not being present. Yes. That's correct, my lord. That's correct, my lord. And the tweede thing that I've here said. The second thing that he told you. Je mag niet vermeld dat u voor hom bedag gemaakt het op die moeilijkheid dat Eggett zal zelf moet vleeg, die woorde. 
het, dat hij om niet, hij mag niet gezien dat hij om vertel het van die woorden wat ik het, dokter ik het gezien, dat hij hemzelf niet kan vergeven. And he also said that you should not uh, mention that he, uh, you told him that uh, Dr. Neil Aget told you that uh, he could not forgive himself. And that he said that this is a moeilijke aanduiding van a risico van zelfmoord is. And you said it was a possible indication uh, of uh, suicide. That is correct here, yeah? no? That is correct, my lord. En het u dit verswijg in die eerste gerechtelijke doodsonderzoek? En did you uh, hide that in, in the first uh, inquest? Uh, inquest. Ja, dat is correct hier. Dat is correct, uh, my lord. Ik zeg hier dat voor mij. I did not uh, mention it in my statement. In the first request or the statement to the first inquest? Is it in the statement or to the, did you give evidence verbal? He gave, he gave verbal evidence. He said he does not mention it in the first inquest. I'm going to ask him now about the statement. But he had dus iets en dat dat iets verklaren afgeleid in 1982 betrekking tot die dood van Dr. Eggert. Meneer Mr. Dietlips, wat het eigenlijk? Je hebt een eerstverklaring afgeleid. Je hebt mij een statement, een eerstverklaring afgeleid in die eerste gerechtelijke doodsomming. Je hebt first inquest. Je hebt make a statement at the first inquest. Affidavit. Affidavit. Son affidavit. Or a son affidavit at the first inquest. Dat is correct hier. Dat is correct, mijn lord. En het u hier die feiten wat u verswijgd het in die getuinis, het u dit in daar die iets verklaring vermeld? Did you mention those, did you mention that information that you did not divulge in that statement? Did you mention that information? In die graag niet hier. No, not at all, my lord. Can I for the off or of you that me to do it? Can you inform the court as to why you did not do it? Yeah, in the was was threatened. Yes, my lord, we were threatened, and that. So who's we? V S Ons. Ja, die personen waar die verklaring is afgeleid, onder andere Eric Leitnant Wartek en Leitnant Wunschrecht. De people who gave the statement being myself, uh, Lieutenant Wunschrecht en Lieutenant Whitehead. Ja, uh, ons hebben we daar een verberg en ons hebben we het geen zin gemeld, niet, maar. We uh, hide, we we hid that, and then we did not uh, mention it. You said you were threatened. You were threatened. You never even said you were threatened. Was that precisely threatened? Yes, we were precisely uh, threatened. In that was a real, what a specific real that for was. Maar alle wij gaat het hier een correcte inlichting moest bekend gemaakt worden. Well, they did not want the correct information to be testified about or to be said. Kan u voor jou zien wie die gedrag? Can you tell the court who threatened you? Ja. Lieutenant Whitehead and Mayor Kronerij. Lieutenant Whitehead and Major Major Kron Kronerij. Kronerij. 
teşekkür ederim. That is correct, my lord. Dear Tietlifs, dağ in die veiligheidsstap waar die dienst gedoen het, wat was die kameraadskap, die vriendskap of die samenhoogheid, misschien, let me rephrase that, it's a long sentence. In die veiligheidsstap, wat was die verbindenis tussen die veiligheidslede, veiligheidsstaflede? Die relationship. Mr. Tietlifs, what was the relationship between this in VNV? The leader, the leader, but they are the members of the security branch. Okay. Mr. Tietlifs, what was the position pertaining to... The relationship pertaining to the members of the security branch? What was the relationship between amongst members of the relationship? Of the security branch? Oh, what was the relationship amongst the members of the security branch? Iele, ons allemaal is samengestaan. My lord, we all stood together. En zoals meneer Kronrij dat in ons gesteld het. As major Kronrij told us. Geen een zou mekaar vertlip en ons zal mekaar altijd ondersteun. Dat we vertlip was het niet? Split iets aan dat. Oh, we could not split en is het? We should not split. We should not split. Yeah, and you let me on the whole on the skin. On the skin. We should focus on ourselves, and we won't split on each other, and we will support each other. Okay, we won't sleep on each other, but and we will support each other. This could I get in there? In don't let me your crown right to see. Ons weet dat ons allemaal moet samenstaan. En Lieutenant, er is het een major kroonrij. Een major, major kroonrij. Wat het is dat? Hij heeft gezegd dat uh, ons allemaal is daar met één doel. He said we are all there for uh, one uh, purpose. En dit is om communisme in die aanzien. Te bevechten. Dat was to fight the communists and the ANC. Je hebt het op die stadium in 1982 was communisme. A misdaad geweest. Mr. Zitlers was communism. What was it? Was it a misdaad? Was it? Oh, was it a, a, a crime? Uh, was communism a crime uh, during nine, uh, 1982? This was a verboden organisatie verklaard. Yes, my lord, and it was. Uh, <coughs> Said that it was a banned organization. Well, it was a banned organization. It so what the ANC was also a banned organization. As well as the ANC, it was a banned organization. That is correct, my lord. That is correct, my lord. It was also a misdeed for any person to to communism and or the belongings of the ANC to be further. And it was also a crime to <coughs> to uh, help with the aims of the ANC and the communists. This correct? We look in our sense on a letter we have from the two forbidden organizations. Yes, my lord. It was also uh, more so uh, of. Uh, it was not. It was not legal to be uh, 
uh, even a member of those two band organizations. The Dietlifts is now in the police and the Veiligheid stop to work. Tot en met 1994 toe is daar nou een nieuwe democratische regering in die land. Wat was die positie daarna? Uh, Mr. Dietlifts, uh, you worked in the security branch uh, up till 1994 until uh, a new regime was brought into uh, existence. What did you do then after that? What was your position thereafter? Uh, what was your position thereafter? Uh, uh, yeah, <coughs> I can serve you. My lord, I can uh, also men I can mention that uh, in 1993, the uh, in the uh, uh, during the Easter of 1993, it had the a I investigated the killing of uh, Chris Hani and then I brought it. I brought the matter successfully to court. Yeah. It was rechts op tweede geweest. Dan wordt het was. Het was niet ANC niet. Het was niet communisme niet. Het was rechts conservatief right wing op tweede geweest. So it was not the ANC nor the communist nor the communist, but it was right wing. Or it was a right wing matters. Yeah, was this uh, Yes, precisely, my lord. And he opted as a as a police bounty, as a unafar, the Feilerheit stop. Was it later the self that the state were the Rexer, the Vietnams, as what it was, still were the ANC in communist Yeah, that's what I did. That's a long push now, so the thing. He opted as a state were. Aangehouden is. Uh, Verdacht is. Yo. <coughs> optreden. Ja, optreden. Your actions. Your your actions against uh, the, 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 the detainees and suspects. And as well as the suspects. Of the right wing. Uh, of the right wing. Was dit anders ter gewees? Het die anders ter opgetreed toe door hulle? As dit wat die mense van die ANC en moendelike communisten. Did you act differently? against them as with the ANC and the communists. Glad die edele, want sy wat dit dit so gedoen het. Not at all, my lord, because if I had done that, sy werd nie skillig op vinding en een doodstraf op beide tijd daar weer loos en jammers wel eens gekryd nie. I wouldn't have succeeded in getting uh, the death sentences against uh, Clive Darby Lewis and and Janus Valus. Did he apply them on farm? The value of the Feiligheid stuff was for who or means it on a farm? Did you get a uh, training whilst you were in the uh, security branch as to how to interrogate people? Uh, oh, did you get the training of how to uh, question? The detainees. Yeah, in the uh, security branch. Yeah, at at the opleiding or something. Yes, my lord, I did uh, get training. But will it work? Say, also, as well, what what the cases by for will it? And I can uh, also add that uh, it was uh, a lot of us who attended the course. 
in drie van ons is het bij het einde van die dag onderzoekers en ondervraags gewoon. En at the end of it, three of us uh, became uh, interrogators and what? Uh, investigators. Onderzoeker. Okay. Or, uh, after the whole uh, course, uh, three of us became is it investigators? Yeah. Yeah. Investigators, yes. Ja, dat is correct, Jelle. En dan wil ik nog niet bijvoegen. Dat is correct, my lord. I would also like to add dat die methodes wat daar wat ons geleerd het, dat is dertien erkende ondervragers methodes. Dat de de methodes dat we used in uh, questioning, there were about 13 uh, methods that we used. That you were trained to use? That, you, oh, oh, uh, that we were trained to use. Yeah. This yes. is correct, yeah. That is correct, my lord. Mark, it not buy for? And if I might add... Uh, it was at the stadium, uh, I can feel it was a was het goed om die cursus bij te doen? Ik heb geleerd. Maar I can say, my lord, that it was good to attend that course. I say that good is to do. And then I learned of things. Ja. Ik wil maar niet geen effect gehad op mijn eigen methode wat ik toen gepast heb. And, and my lord, that did not have uh, any impact on the methods that I used. Uh, can you tell the court as to <coughs> what methods did you use in questioning uh, people? Uh, uh, detainees, we do not people. use detainees. Uh, the question uh, of people, different people and detainees. Uh, what methods did you use in questioning the detainees? Uh, met wie het ook al was. Het ek begin afhangende van as het een jong man was. My lord, what I did depending on who I was with and more so if it was a young person. So kom meer oor sy groot woord jare en sy school jare. Ek sal met hom een gemakkelijke gesprek daarover aangevoer het en om hom het door die gemak te breng en het oorspoelig gesprek voer. I would make him comfortable before we get on to business about what we were to talk about. Het u dan om verder geval oor die aspekte? Ja. Did you also Ask him further about the aspects. That's correct, Your Honour. That was a method for me, to then, at the end, to get the third break, to where I go. I come here to ask questions. That is correct, my lord, and that is the way I did it, so that I could get a breakthrough to the questioning. Thank you, my lord. I've got no further questions to this witness. As as the court cases, my lord, the leader of evidence for the state has made a request, and he would like the representatives for the family to commence. The what? Oh, yes, fine. 
Well, before we proceed, we'd like to hand up some exhibits. Look, the first exhibit will be a sworn affidavit by young Pierre Tavares, 2020. Look, we'd, we'd like to mark that uh, exhibit. Uh, G35 okay. but, um, Lord, I'm actually advised that this is a, is a copy because Mr. Tehran is actually based in, in the Western Cape uh, but we will make arrangements to hand up the original uh, tomorrow uh, my Lord, the next exhibit is going to be a copy of the handwritten statement that we were uh, talking about this morning that was taken by uh, advocate uh, Turi Pretorius uh, from this witness. It's an unsigned, undated statement, but believe, we believe it was taken in 2018. And then the third exhibit uh, and Lord, we'd like to mark that as G36.1. Uh, actually, my Lord, that's, in fact, if we can just mark it G36, it wouldn't be 0.1. Those are all the exhibits uh, for, for us today. <coughs> just just find out where <laughs> Is that all the exhibits? Yes, just, uh, just G35 and G36. Well, we just wanted to say something. I don't know what the uh, yeah. and, and a little before we proceed, I do have copies for, for the witness as well. Yeah, okay. You yeah. wanted to say something about when the statement of the unsigned uh, statement, what, what did you want to find yeah. out? Uh, my Lord, I knew uh, Dr. Tony Pretorius and uh, I referred to him uh, here along the way. As Tori Pretorius in Langford, I was gekomen. And Langford, I was concerned about the Zulu Natal. Long before he came to visit me down there at KwaZulu Natal, he took an unluchtingsnota in Glatni at the Klaren of Berlin. I made an information note and I never made a, a statement. As I can record, I can document my experience on my computer. And if I remember well, I did see the document uh, not long ago. In a colony, I get a monarch, I get him a server bell. I say, here's his bell. I don't believe I signed it. And what can I do? I should Maybe, uh, and okay, yeah, that, it is not uh, uh, that it is not sworn in. Yeah. In, uh, I had my, uh, I had to, uh, to my comment when he came to me to say to my Nick, I can see here on the tarn for you to near me. He said, Nick, I'm not here to come and take down uh, your statement. And you said from good, 
Maar ik heb een inlichting moeten voor voorbereid wat hij tot het al kan lees. En ik zei to hem, no, but I have, uh, what did you do? En dat is nog wel. I have prepared uh, an information note. Wat voor jullie wat dan? Wat ik graag een omboog gegeven. Which I wanted to hand over to him. En dat hij dit kon voeren te gebruiken indien hij het zo nodig heeft. Dat hij moet gebruiken het wherever, als hij het nodig heeft. En kan ik ook zeggen, op grond van mijn notas, wat ik geneem het en wat ik kan onthouden. En, als ik mag zeggen, op mijn notas, wat ik kan herinneren, wat ik maak en kan herinneren. Op grond van die notas waar ik troon genoem het. Op de grond van de... Statement wherein I mentioned throne. It I for my to see good. I can young throne under the nikab see. And he said good. He will then go and see young throne in the cave. That's good. Eh. I will in. Say what pini? I eat the plan of Ghanem and I dana. He took the statement, my lord, and then thereafter, it's a man near Gideo. He told me that I is from Gideo. That that is of the opinion that young throne on Irle was in his declaration in the date of the death. That young throne. Uh, was not uh, uh, did not uh, tell the truth. Uh, in fact, he lied. Yeah. So let me just mention: Is this the uh, information note that you gave to him? Is that the and left things note that he anom or can you see? If I can see it, my lord, or is this the one? Yes, uh, this is the one, my lord. Okay. All right. Turn aside. Yes. 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 It's confirmed that he gave him the document. It's the information document that he gave to uh, what is it? Oh, Advocate Pretorius. Uh, yes. Um, j j j uh, th th thank you, my lord. Well, uh, well, while we run this uh, this question of this statement, um, just to clarify, you just said to the court, you gave this note to Advocate Pretorius. Meneer, u heeft gezegd, u heeft hier een notas aan advocaat Pretorius Oerhandag. Dat is correct, u heeft hier. Dat is correct, my lord. Are you sure that it was advocaat Pretorius who didn't take the note from you after listening to you? Het is zeker dat dit was advocaat Pretorius, wat nu die, if dat kan wel gezegd is. Did advocate Pretorius not write down the uh, the note after listening to him? Uh, uh, advocate uh, advocate Pretorius ni neer geskrewe nada de an i gelesere. Ierne mia. No, my lord. Inlichtings nota lang voordat hy my kom besoek het reis opgestel in my eie handskrif. My lord, I had already uh, compiled uh, the <coughs> the statement and uh, or the information note long before he came to me. In uh, in a year, so I can say, 
Of het meeste wat mij kennen en hond kennen zal kan zeggen dat het een mij aanschrijft is een beslissing zij aan te zien. En people who knew me and him can also uh, attest to the fact that uh, the statement was written in my own handwriting and not his. <coughs> Thank you. So, so you confirm that this handwriting is your handwriting? So, meneer, I give to that your handscript is sentence. That's correct. That is correct, my lord. If I can just point, um, point out to you uh, what you say in paragraph one of your affidavit. As I can read for you, can read what you have said in the paragraph one of your affidavit's note. I'm just interpreting. I think it's best if he has the, the note before him. Oh, yes. <coughs> So, Mr. Jetlitz, you first give your full name and then your ID number. Yes, I full name here and identifies booky number. That is correct, yes, ma'am. That is correct, my lord. Um, and then, in the last line of that first paragraph, you say, "Accordingly, I declare as follows in Afrikaans." And here, that be the last detail from the first paragraph. Paragraph. So, Mr. Dietlitz, uh, that paragraph gives the impression that you are making uh, a declaration as opposed to a note. Meneer, die eerste paragraaf, dat bleef, wat does it mean? That he is making a declaration where he wants to make an affidavit as opposed to writing an information note. He had a declaration gemaakt in plaats van een lichtings note. My duty in me was to get me as this is we had seen. My intention was, I don't know, that's how you see it. Was Hinson's daughter? It was not in all respect leading to that. And on far ni, the fact that he net nu genoem het effe die wet, maar het beslis nie is nie dat bly een inlichting smoot. And I do not accept what you said in saying it was an affidavit. According to me, it's an information note. Okay, if I can then take you to paragraphs two and three on the first page. As I can the third paragraph and the third paragraph and the first blad se can verwees. And you will notice that in those paragraphs you have corrected certain words. You've scratched them out and replaced, corrected them. And you can see that the second word is corrected. And then you have initialed next to those paragraphs. And here the antecedent and that paragraph that to have read. If it was only an information note, why did you initial those corrections? And as that mar net a a lichtings note is, who come to the that antecedents gemak? Again. There was a there was a spell folk. There was a spelling mistake. In 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 dinner that a note a inlichtings note is, but it was seeds the that would have been worded a reflector. And my lord, even if it was a information note, it should reflect what I wanted to bring forth. Okay, th uh, thank you, Mr. Dierklips. Um, I now wish to proceed with, uh, with my cross-examination. I will now uh, Let me uh, on our uh, Firstly, Mr. Dierklips, thank you for taking the time to come up from Kwazulu Natal to give evidence today and tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dierklips, that you have come to KZN. 
vandaag om hier te komen getuigen. Dus een voordag hier. It's a recommendation, my lord. Um, I, I think a, I think a Führerrecht is, is something else. It's an honor. I think it's an honor, perhaps. Oh, privilege. Correction, my lord. It's an honor or a privilege. So, Mr. Detlefs, before I begin, um, I have instructions from the Agat family. Mr. Detlefs, for it, my for for hand, I take instructions from the Agat family because they want to set out uh, the approach that they're taking to the police witnesses who appear before this court. They want to. They want to set out their approach to the police witnesses who appear in this court. And essentially, my instructions are the following. And my instructions as the following. If you testify honestly, if you take this court into your confidence and testify honestly, as I hear uh, of Niem dot I as I vertrouw en die en hier of en I getuig correct. Then my instructions are from the Agat family. Then my instructions as from the Agat family that where you are honest and where you assist this court to get to the truth. Where I the pray the where it say and help the hope on to the where it to come. Then they will not pursue a criminal prosecution against you. Ela salni. A straf rechtelijke zaak die je maak nu. Of course, I should point out that the final decision rests with the prosecutors, but they will take into account the wishes of the family. En ik kan ze die hele ding leren met die start en dat zal ook wat heb je? The prosecutors will take into account the wishes of the family. The state advocate shall work and act near. And indeed, if you testify honestly and help this court get to the truth, you will earn their gratitude. And as he and he of getting and help he of on. Tot die vrijheid te komen, zal er plevies. But, Mr. Dietlers. Maar meneer Dietlers, if you mislead this court, as I hear of niet de rechter den zeni, and as you're aware, you are under oath, and as soos I bewijs is dat I onder eer is, and if you lie under oath. And as he honor it, learns for them. Then my instructions are that the family will vigorously pursue a prosecution against you. My instructions is that the family rechtstappe ten i so neem. And potentially on conviction of such crimes. And as he well skilled out befriend. Can word and there is strafsa. There is a possibility of a jail sentence arising. There is a monthly gate for a strong, strong straf. Yes. So, Mr. Dietlers, I just wanted to make clear that you fully understood the position of the Agat family and the consequences of not being truthful. Meneer Titlus, ik neem aan dat u verstaan wat ik aan u voorgehouden heb omtrent die eigen families en wat zo volgt. 
Now, Mr. Detlef, uh, you've, you've testified that you spent um, a great deal of time in the former South African police, and in particular with the South African security branch. Mr. Detlef, you have said he was uh, long in the police march and worked long in the uh, <coughs> security attack. Uh, from the uh, <coughs> SR policy. That is correct. And you testified in your evidence in chief that you started with the security branch uh, on the 17th of May 1979 on the 10th floor. And here we are, uh, here there by the uh, security staff the 17th uh, May month, which year? 17th of May, 1979. Uh, 1979, uh, 1979, we were there by the 10th floor. That is correct, my lord. And <clears throat> you mentioned that uh, you retired or you were medically boarded in 1995. And he had a uh, melding gemaakt that he wel geboord was in the year 1995. That is correct, my lord. And were you always based on the 10th floor of the security branch between 1979 and 1995? Or were you also posted elsewhere? Meneer, was he the whole day in the year 1970? Until you see? 1995. Uh, and thought, uh, was he the whole day uh, there by the Tinder floor, or was he uh, at the by other places who were going to work? Uh, I can answer the question. Uh, we were at different uh, stadiums, or two other places, it was the Tinder floor for large. Uh, my lord, I can say on some two occasions uh, we left the 10th floor. You say two occasions? That is, I said two occasions. Yes, my lord. Yeah. The year in, uh, uh, that was on, actually, we on Friday's in Ossendar. It was because of uh, safety reasons. In many ways, it's revealed that our culture was, and a few people uh, knew where our offices were. But your your absence on these two occasions were they for short periods? And uh, two years ago, we the tinder floor work was was it for a court tape tape of what is the position? Beide was ongeveer eerder lang keer in de maar FCC die eerst keer in de naad van Vosterplein waren het ons verhuis uit de plotte in Eikenhof FCC dit was hier langs de verschuiven van John Vosterplein My lord, I can say on the first occasion it was for a short time and he said there are two for his now, plot yeah, and back. Yeah, I could not. And until such time that we uh, <coughs> relocated to some plots in Aikenhof. That's it, you got one. That's good, I can hear you. And on the second occasion, how long were you um, outside of the 10th floor of John Foster Square? Of the two days, uh, how long was the other? Weg van die tiende vloer daar bij John Foster Plain. Dit was niet bij een lang tijd, want als je die zei je je blijft. It was not long, my lord, but I can tell my lord. Ik was ook de onderzoekbeambte. I was also the investigating officer. 
weil die Suche nach der Arbeit Bier. Okay, But, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Dierklitz, I only asked you for how long you were absent from, from JBS, not, not what you were doing. Are we talking days or weeks? That's all I want to know. No, Mr. Dierklitz, I will not be free on the second time. How long was you not there by the tenth floor by John Foster Plain? I can say uh, about a year, my lord. And, and when was that? Was that in the 1980s or the 1990s? One year was that was that in the <coughs> year uh, 80s of year 90s. Uh, yeah, that was in the year 90s. My lord, it was in the 1990s, if I remember well. Thank you. So it's it's true to say that <clears throat> for most of your time, with the exception of these two short absences. Uh, you were based on, on the 10th floor. Meneer zal ik recht wees as ek sê beten die kort tijdperke wat jylle daar beten John Foster Plain was. Hy was die hele tijd daar by John Foster Plain. That is correct, my lord. And, I, and I'm right in saying that throughout the 1980s, the whole decade of the 1980s, you were based at John Foster Square, 10th floor. Sal ek reg wees dat die hele 10 jare vanaf die 1980's was hy die hele tyd daar by John Foster Plain. Dit is correct, my lord. Dit is correct, my lord. Thank you. Now, Mr. Dierklitz, on the 10th floor, uh, you and your colleagues would uh, interrogate or question uh, what we might call security or political detainees. Meneer daar bij de tiende vloer, i sam met i collega's het wel aanhoudenis daar onder vraag en ook ja onder vraag het. Ja, die hele was slechts politieke handel. Yes, my lord, it was only political detainees. Now, these, these political detainees, Mr. Dierklips, were they under your care and protection? Meneer, was hulle onder u en tot u beskerme? Die eerle, ons was een redelijke groot personeel. My lord, we were... A big personnel. And so saw the two of us was on on the leader. And there were cases that were handed over to the members. Was my front work here for years? It was my responsibility. For the person, for the here we have the ownership of the one of the other was. For those. Who, uh, for whom I was the investigating officer as well as the interrogator. So, Mr. Jetlips, are you saying that in respect of the political detainees who you were investigating and questioning, they were under your care and protection? Meneer, bedoel i dat die personen, die anhoudenis, wat i waarin i die onderzoekbeamte was en wie u onder vraag is, het hulle was onder u en tot onder u beskerm. Beskerme. Dit is correct, my lord. And am I correct in saying that these day detainees were detained in communicado without access to their families and lawyers? Meneer, is ek recht, as ek sê, die aanhoudenis was soort van incommunicado, wat bedoel dat geen van hulle familielede of wie ook al kon hulle sien. Dit is correct hier, nie? Dit is correct, my lord. And would you agree that this duty to this duty of care was in fact a legal duty under law to make sure that they were properly looked after. Meneer, is dit so dat dit was volgens recht 
dat uh, daar een uh, hoedenis uh, goed behandeld wordt. Ja, het is correct, uh, yes, dat is correct, mijn lord. So that would have included ensuring that they were prevented from being harmed. That uh, so behelps that om te verhoed dat de enige beserings op doen as gevolg van jylle optredes. Jylle die raad kan ek sê, not being harmed. Yes, my lord. Or not by them. You didn't say by them. Oh, a correction, my lord. Not being harmed. Okay. That the tools work behels that the lenny besirings of tuni of yeah besirings of tuni. Uh, you know the was time. My lord, the way time. Van het misschien een of ander dokters besoek of of een dringende afspraak moet snel kom. Where I would have to. Talk to a, a doctor, and if then iemand gevraagd om voor mij in te staan voor die tijdje wat er weg is, and I would ask somebody to stand uh, for me whilst I am um, away. In op de persoon toegepast het wat ik zou toegepast het, en whether die kan ik niet, die, die kan ik niet vertrouwen. And whether that person who was standing. Uh, in my position, could have done what I, I, I did. Uh, I cannot say. So, if you were aware that a detainee was being harmed, perhaps you witnessed uh, some assault. What would your responsibility be? Meneer, what so if er an gurlek yes as i meskin an hodene gesin. Uh, I'm going to work. What so I can do it uh, as a fault? Uh, and uh, I started with uh, with responsibility, man. I ask my own manier for one question. Why me? I can't even ask. My Lord, I had uh, many uh, of uh, methods that I used in uh, questioning people and many people did not know how to question. In so a guy pursuing Samir uh no yellow word to like he had last one. my lord I, uh, to use a derogatory word I would have uh, chased away that yes. person. Mr Jetlips the question is if you witnessed a detainee being harmed as in assaulted, what would your responsibility be? Mr. Titlis, the question is, as I will unranding of a unholdene gesine, what so I verantwoordelijk wees? Okay, ek so heel eerst die persoon verhoed het om ooit hier daar die persoon te ondervraag, uh, I would have pre prevented that person to ever uh, question that detainee. And uh, you have often seen from what he what what he almost say was unfair to be here. Let's just say, my lord, uh, that person was assaulted and uh, got injured. And that was not a for hospital hospitalisation of that the doctor was pursued. It was supposed to be a question of hospitalisation or for the person to see a doctor. Yeah, that is so far that so up there was by my mouth to say straight. And that is as far as I would go in terms of my. Powers. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Lord. I do have further questions on, on on this aspect, but I see it is the lunch time. Perhaps it's the appropriate time for the adjournment. Yeah. All right.